In this chapter, let us look at switching systems. We will initially look at the evolution of PSTN, Public Switched Telephony Network. Then we look at the complete hierarchical structure of a PSTN. Then we look at what is known as LATA, Local Access and Transport Area. We look at some of the important telephony networks. We will peep inside an exchange and see what are the essential blocks that constitute a PSTN. Then I will make one call to my grandmother and see what happens. We look at important ITUT standards which are part of the PSTN specifications. Then we look at important recommendations in switching and signaling. Over to switching systems now. Let's have a very quick look at the telecommunication basics. A series of uh, animations would tell us how a telecom switching concept evolved and why there is a need for switching. Maybe one user wants to talk to another user on a direct path. This is the most simplistic telecommunication network. One telephone on either side. Maybe I am not happy with just talking to one person all the time. I want to talk to someone else also. That means there are three of us and one conversation can take place. Look at this figure where there are eight persons sitting in an office. If we do the wiring the way it is shown in this figure, eight C2 combinations of wires are required, which is 28 wires. Impractical, isn't it? Let's go to the next figure. Therefore, the concept of switching is born. And along comes the switch. Instead of running 28 wires amongst these 8 subscribers, they are all connected to a central switch. And the switch has a necessary intelligence to analyze what each user wants and connect him to the desired destination. This is the genesis of PSTN, Public Switched Telephony Network, or sometimes called POTS, Plain Old Telephony Service. This is basically called the Telephone Exchange. What is PSTN evolution all about? Let's look at what is PSTN to start with. PSTN is an established international telephone system. PSTN carries voice and data. PSTN is a world's collection of interconnected, voice-oriented public telephone networks, both commercial and government owned. It's also referred to as the plain old telephony services parts. Please note that PSTN is not one single telephone exchange. Many people often use this term wrongly, but it is a collection of many exchanges, trunks, loops, and so on. In PSTN, communication is through circuit switch connections. PSTN traditionally works on an analog basis. Newer developments and implementations are also coming up such as ISDN, which are entirely based on digital technologies. PSTN can be viewed to have two parts. One is external, which consists of transmission medium, local loops, long haul trunks, etc. And internal, which is switching offices, or central offices or telephone exchanges. PSTN could provide fax and also low speed data besides voice services. This is reliable due to battery backup. What's the relationship between PSTN and the internet? For the internet, the PSTN actually provides much of the long distance infrastructure or the backbone network. In this way, PSTNs do support packet switching also though indirectly. Why do we need PSTN? What is its role? To support all forms of telecommunications by providing transmission infrastructure and switching infrastructure. That is the basic role of PSTN. How did the network evolve? Look at this picture and you will get the answer.
let us carry on with the PSTN evolution. Let's look at an analog and digital telephone network. We have seen already a typical PSTN has got four major segments or elements or components. Customer premises equipment, local loop, exchanges, and trunk lines. CPE examples could be telephone sets. The local loop can be the local copper lines from the telephones at home to telephone exchanges. This is local loop. Exchanges can be four or five types of exchanges arranged in a hierarchical fashion. What is hierarchical fashion? If you look at your office, you may have president, vice president, Manager, team lead, team member. So there is a hierarchical manpower structure in your organization. Trunk lines, the transmission media, it could be copper wires, it could be fiber, it could be radios, and so on, which interconnect higher order exchanges. The transmission amongst all these components can be either analog or digital or a mix of both. Please note local loop is between the customer and the first exchange. Trunk lines is always between two telephone exchanges. Look at this figure where an analog phone is accessing an analog exchange. The animation is quite explanatory. In this animation, an analog phone is accessing a digital exchange. In the previous slide, it was analog phone accessing a analog exchange. Here, an analog phone is accessing a digital exchange. In this animation, a digital phone is accessing a digital exchange. The digital phone could be ISDN phone and the digital exchange could be an ISDN exchange. ISDN we have already seen in great detail, therefore we will not look at that again in great detail. But in a nutshell, integrated services digital network, it's an end-to-end -end digital service, 64 kilobits per second, scalable to n into 64, meaning 128, 192, 256 kbps and so on. Applications, voice, data and video conference. ISDN telephone at home will be a special digital telephone. There will be a mini LAN at home with a few small boxes or terminals. We have seen a TE1, TE2, terminal adapter and so on. A digital link is connected to this local area network through SBUS on which up to eight terminal devices can be connected. The devices can be phones, faxes, PCs, and so on. Each of these terminal devices can have their own telephone number, and at any time, two of them can be connected simultaneously through a 64 kilobits link with any other device anywhere else in the world. Even the existing analog telephones can be connected through ISDN networks through special adopters. We have seen them in detail just a short while ago. What is today's PSTN? Analog voltages and copper wires are used only in the last mile. That is the segment which is very close to the user. User to the first pillar box which is perhaps on your street. That's called the last mile. Why signal is filtered to 4 kilohertz at the input to digital network. Digital transmission using TDM is replacing analog transmission using FDM throughout the world. Fiber optics and wireless transmissions are being used for higher speeds 
and higher transmission capacities. Some of the standards are T1, E1, PDH, SONET, SDH, synchronous protocols and so on. We will see most of them in detail as we go along. Signaling can be channel associated or trunk associated or via the famous SS7 networks. Routing is automatic. Circuit tracing is still widely used. Route is maintained for the entire duration of the call. Complex routing optimization algorithms such as LP, Karmar Car, etc. are being employed for faster and efficient switching. This is today's PSTN. So what is happening in today's PSTN as far as the non-voice services are concerned? Look at this figure. The PSTN of course carries voice but can also carry non-voice services such as fax or data. These services are possible using modems. So what is happening in today's PSTN?